How's it going everybody? It's Ryan here coming to you today with another deadlift video, a training video. I haven't been recording a lot of my trainings because I've been haven't been focusing too much on the main lifts and actually that's what I want to talk about is my training program or sort of my training goals for the next powerlifting meet. I uh, wanted to actually talk about essentially philosophy for for yourself or I guess for myself really so you get an idea of sort of how I think. My goal for the next powerlifting meet, which will probably be sometime in February, beginning of February or end of January of 2016, my goal is to train up until I basically continue to train, keep making progress and not get injured, which means slow progress. It means very little, if any, uh, progressive overload and just keep training, feel strong. I don't have to lift more weight to know that I'm getting stronger. I think you already know this, that when you're training and you're just lifting week to week, trying to get better at something, you can the bar's moving better, the bar's feeling lighter, and you don't have to increase the weight. Because I think the increasing the weight essentially makes us take too many risks, which lead to injury because of poor motor patterns. And I'm jacked up as it is. I'm really not that bad. When, but my point is, is I don't want to hurt. I don't want exercise. I don't want powerlifting to negatively impact the rest of my life. And I'm telling you right now that I love powerlifting. I love lifting heavy, but I also like feeling good. I like being injury and pain free. So that's the first, that's the main goal for training up until for the next several months is to hit, is to be essentially just train injury. I like to keep the same numbers possible. Uh, and that's basically what I want to keep all the same numbers, you know, a, a low 400 squat bench, 300 pounds, and deadlift in the five in the mid 500s, probably 530. We'll see how it goes. And then the other thing is I want to compete at 181 pounds. That is a really big goal of mine. Uh, it has lots of reasons for it. One is I want to get leaner. Just want to kind of beat a healthier body weight for my size. And I think this is more important for long term health. Uh, but number two, it's to uh, compete on the same day as my wife uh, at the powerlifting meet that I uh, USPA meet that I compete at. They do a two-day meet, and uh, the heavier lifters starting at 198 compete on Sunday, whereas uh, 181 and below compete at on a Saturday. So I want me and my wife we can compete on the same day. Kind of makes things a little bit easier for both our trainings, both our diets, and you know we got three kids, so it's not exactly the easiest thing to do when you're trying to manage all these things. But it's a lot of fun. I'm just really focused on my diet, on my fitness pal. I've been tracking all my foods. I uh, haven't been doing that great with calories, but if anything, I'm really focused and I'm just taking it slow. My goal by the end of the month is to be in the 197 to 195 weight. So that's really the goal, just taking it slowly. I've done this before. I made this comment before, commitment before, that I'm, I was going to only... I was going to don't go on a diet and now I'm making another commitment to go on a diet. So you guys can hold me to it or check on me if you'd like. Leave a comment below. Uh, but I also want to talk about my training rules. My training rules for the next six weeks, I'm basically about almost two weeks post my powerlifting meet, is to train with a barbell for a minute, maximum of 20 minutes. So I can squat, bench, or deadlift every day if I want to. But I have only 20 minutes to do it. That means 20 minutes starting with... Uh, the warm-up set, the first warm-up set. And the reason why I'm doing this is so that I stay injury-free. This is how I get into trouble. I train too much of the main lift. I don't train my accessories. And I keep taking risks and I get too much pattern overload and run into too many problems. I have a ton of fun. I feel strong. But long-term, that's not healthy for my body. So I need to focus on doing just building my muscles up, doing more high-rep stuff. This is, I guess you can call more of a deload workout, the workout that you're seeing now. But uh, actually, the other rule is not only am I only allowed to train 20 minutes for the main lift. The second thing is I'm for deadlifts for the next six weeks is to do only double overhanded grip and nothing else. Uh, why am I doing this? Well, I really do feel like this imbalance of the mixed grip is really messing with my shoulders. Uh, I, I mean, When I missed that 551 uh, on my last meet, previous footage, um, I... I felt my AC joint kind of get irritated because I missed the lift. It, it was minor. It was really nothing. But, you know, I, I think that this mixed grip, because my left hand is so strong taking a grip, and I, I excessively round on this side, there's something going on there. And when I was benching today, I kind of felt it. So that's the other rule. And then essentially I have 20 minutes to do barbell training, squat, bench, or deadlift, one lift only. Then I'm just going to fill it up with dumbbell stuff, lateral raises, curls, lat pulldowns, pull-ups, lunges, all the stuff that I don't do. And why? Because I need to build muscle. I need to just 
do a variety of motor patterns to make my joints and muscles strong. I don't, obviously I'm cutting, so I don't know exactly how much muscle I can gain. I'm definitely going to look a lot bigger after I cut some weight. Uh, I, I might look more, my face won't, but I will look more muscular because my shoulders will come out because uh, in case, um, I hope to, that's actually my goal. I want to be accused of taking steroids. It's like, man, what stuff are you taking, Ryan? That will be the ultimate, that will be the greatest compliment ever. Uh, but, you know, joking aside, I'm, I haven't been doing any like shoulder work, so I'm going to be doing a lot more overhead press and lateral raises. So my delts should definitely come out a little bit over the course of the next several months. Um, but more importantly, I want to be able to have strong shoulders to bench. You know, my right now I'm a chest dominant bencher, and I really need to work on my triceps and shoulders so that they carry the load when I try to bench 300 pounds. Because for whatever reason, I can't pause bench 300 pounds, and that's something that needs to change. So anyways, I hope you like my rambling and chatting. Leave a comment below if you'd like to add to the discussion or, I don't know, suggest a video. i got a bunch of mobility videos and probably some diet and nutrition videos coming up. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.